What is going on guys? So today I will be showing you how Linux Mint is running on a 2018 MateBook X Pro. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and boot the computer. I'm currently running Mint as a dual boot alongside uh, Windows 10. My boot manager is a uh, Grub. So um, the OS is actually pretty quick to boot up. Maybe not as quick as Windows 10. All right, so I'm, I'm running Cinnamon as my desktop UI. However, I'm also running, I also have KDE Plasma installed, um, which I have a little bit more trouble with than uh, Cinnamon. Uh, I'm gonna, I will be showing this uh, a little bit later in the video. So as you can see, we're um, on our desktop here. Everything works uh, correctly. So as you can see here, shortcut for luminosity works good. Um, same thing for keyboard brightness. Um, sounds works good also. Camera is good. Let's see, do I have a camera up here? Um, let's just go ahead and uh, open a random camera website. As you can see, Google Chrome is installed, are uh, running really good. Let's see here if we open the camera. Do we need to? There it is. What is up, guys? So, um, as you can see, pretty much everything works good out of the box. Um, also, you know, your network card um, works correctly right away. Just provide your Wi-Fi password and you're good to go. So, um, the exact version I'm running is... Uh, Linux Mint 19.2 uh, 64-bit as you can see uh, we can see all my system specification here No worries about um, updating application or anything like this Um, battery life has been pretty good, however, not as good as you can expect with Windows 10. Um, also, the touchpad does work out of the box. Um, works super good, super precise and quick. Um, scroll down works correctly. Super pre precise and quick. Um, however, the pinch to zoom doesn't work. As you can see, it does nothing. So the touch screen also works um, really good, as you can see. If I go ahead and open a web page and just go like to eBay, um, scrolling works correctly and you can pinch to zoom. No issue with this. I'm pretty fluid too, nothing to complain about. So the Bluetooth also works um, out of the box. However, from my experience, the quality is really bad. Um, I could not like get it to play some nice music or um, the quality just wasn't there. So the power button also work as expected. You can go ahead and set up your default behavior for pressing the power button. Same thing for closing the lid. And um, you can choose to like um, put the computer to sleep, advanced sleep, or uh, basically just shut it down. You can see just reopen your screen and provide your password and your backup. The uh, fingerprint to um, unlock the device doesn't work out of the box, obviously. So you will have to enter your password. All right, so now concerning KDA Plasma, like I mentioned earlier, I did face um, a little bit more issues. So let's go ahead and um, log out of Cinnamon and log back into KDA Plasma. So when I initially logged into KDA Plasma for the first time, the resolution scale with the 3000 by 2000 display um, was way, way too small. Um, I couldn't read anything on the screen, so I had to mess with the uh, resolution scale in order to get like a readable text content. Now, um, compared to um, Cinnamon, uh, the brightness does work correctly. Same thing for the keyboard. Um, however, the volume shortcut uh, doesn't work as you can see, even though I'm pressing on it, um, nothing happens. So what I had to do is install um, 
plasma-pa, uh, which is not installed by default. Once you install this, um, just give it some time here, and you just go in and um, log out and log back in. And uh, from there, the volume should cut should work normally. So let's see here. Yep, here it is. So you can now control your volume with the keyboard. Um, now uh, with KD Plasma, uh, there was no um, UI in order to connect to the Wi-Fi network by default. Um, so we'll have to either install some third-party software or just use the command line, which is fine, but might be a little more. Um, complex for standard users. So as you can see, you can still go ahead and set up your Wi-Fi connection um, like you would normally do. Um, however, you will have to use the um, command line. Uh, so yeah, going back to Cinnamon, to the Cinnamon desktop environment, I really have nothing bad to say um, about Linux Mint on a MateBook X Pro. Um, I would definitely recommend this um, Linux distribution, especially with the Cinnamon um, desktop environment. As you can as you can see, um, most things work out of the box. You might still um, find some little hiccups here and there. You know, it's still a Linux distribution, um, but overall everything is good. Uh, you can be running like a bunch of stuff in the background, uh, virtual machine, uh, server, Linux container anything like this and it's still gonna be pretty fast and responsive no matter what you throw at it. So yeah guys, um, thanks for watching and have a great day.